the doctor will see you now. You don't have to be Marco Polo or Christopher Columbus to go on a good adventure. And in 30 years of riding bikes in places from Argentina to Afghanistan, here's eight essentials I've learned stop my adventures becoming disasters. Sorted. So apart from taking your regular trail tools like a puncture repair kit, a multi-tool and a mini shock pump, you're gonna need real get out of trouble fast stuff like spare spokes for those fancy wheels you ride. And we're gonna throw in some zip ties and wrap a bit of duct tape around your pump. Second is a water filter. Now, having a runny bottom is no fun at all, so clean drinking water is essential. Having one of these means that you can pump water from any source into your reservoir and drink safely. It also means that in places where they don't recycle, you don't have a problem disposing of plastic bottles. Number three is a bag of talc. Having saddle sores can turn a ride into a nightmare. Take a bit of talc, throw it in your nether regions, Keep everything dry, clean, keep those saddle sores at bay. Sorted. Four, leg warmers. Riding in big mountains like the Himalayas means starting out in cold weather, often minus degrees. By the end of the day, it's plus 30. What to do? Too much to carry. Leg warmers sort it. Number five, rubber-ended grips. Metal lock-on grips are great back home, but they're nobody's friend on a remote trip in the middle of nowhere. When you get your bike on the top of a taxi and it dents his roof, he's not your friend. When they hit you in the mouth when you're carrying your bike and you have to get emergency dental work in Kathmandu, you're nobody's friend. Keeping your camera and your clothes and your passport in one of these little babies is the difference between having a wet, soggy mess of rubbish and having a passport and clothes and camera that work at the end of the trip. Oversized chainstay protectors. Not for protecting your chainstays, but your fork stanchions. The one bit on your bike you really don't want to scratch. And finally, a good, compact bike bag to get your bike there. A good, compact bike bag spells the difference between actually fitting it into the trunk of a Nepalese taxi or being stranded at the airport for hours and hours and hours. Arm yourself with these eight essentials and you and your bike are ready for some great adventures. Just don't forget to send postcards when you're there so everybody else knows how rad you are. Sorted.